Breakbeats and Rhymes Radio. Tearing up this ball. Yeah, things have been going real good, you know, on uh, Solo Tip and also with Cypress. You know, we had a heavy duty touring year last year and and uh, we're continuing on a little bit this year, you know, and doing this spring gathering and about to head out to Europe, you know, and then I, I also have a Bobo meets Redmatic, which is a, a pretty exciting thing, uh, you know, that I'm doing with uh, Redmatic of the world famous Beat Junkies. And uh, we're in the studio right now, working on the second uh, second installment of our of our thing. So, uh, you know, I got a few things up the you know up the sleeve, but uh, just trying to keep growing musically and and creatively, you know. Well, basically, what we like we like to do is uh, uh, really like to dig deep in the crates and you know play some songs you know that uh, uh, have good grooves and you know a lot of break beats you know Latin stuff you know we battle each other we you know we solo we we do routines so it's a it's an experience it's a very visual show you know uh, it's not just you just see a DJ and you know a percussion and they're just doing their own thing. You know we're really in sync with one another, and uh, the transitions is kind of crazy from you know the types of music you know that that we mess with. You know so it, it's a good mix of different styles, all uh, really stemming from the breakbeat of hip hop, which you know also included latin percussion you know if you hear the early early uh you know hip hop jams the percussion was right there so it's kind of a getting back to that it's interesting cuz i mean i i was always a fan of hip hop even though i was doing the latin jazz thing and uh through meeting cypress uh you know i met cypress when i was doing stuff with the beastie boys so my first things of putting you know Latin stuff in a hip hop format in a way was when I was doing stuff with the Beastie Boys and uh, then I met Cypress Hill on the same tour in 92 and then you know I, I just knew musically that it would work I just I just knew it all I had to do was just play it you know and once I could play it and as long as I knew where the breaks were you know and I knew the songs you know uh, they they could rhyme they could do whatever they needed to do so I just knew that it was a good musical fit and I knew that because of doing jazz and Latin jazz and salsa and, and all of that stuff. That's that's really a foundation of, of music, you know. I had to say like uh, South America, uh, the crowds are incredible. They don't get a chance to really see a lot of that. You know, they see less of that than uh, in Europe. Or Japan and stuff like that, they, they they have it more. So when we go down there, I mean, the people they're just ready, you know, and and they don't buy their tickets until they know that you're there in the country. You know what I mean? Because yeah, you know, they do an OG like, yo, you ain't in the country, you know, we ain't buying no tickets because you know they work hard for their money and you know. Okay, no, no so, but just the crowd and and everything. I really look forward to to that because I know it's going to be crazy. Um, one song that sticks out is uh, Cuban Necktie from the Skull and Bones album. Uh, that that album is just dark. Uh, the flow that B is, is, is kicking on there is, is ill. Uh, the interjections with Sin. The whole thing is, is it's, it's crazy. The storyline is crazy. It's really dark. And I mean, I always love to hear that song, you know. I mean, it's not a song that we do a lot in the shows, but any time that we do it, I love it because it's a personal favorite. But just so right off the top of the head, you know, I would say that song, Cuban Necktie. <laughs> you know, I, I, don't, I, I don't really know, but I think that <clears throat> my focus when I'm playing is I got to play. So I, I, I was you know taught to 
no matter what, you have to play under whatever circumstance to play your best. When you're out there, you got to play your best under what you can do, you know. And I know it's part of the show, and, you know, I'm kind of conditioned to do it, but I always keep in focus that I need to be on point, that I can't mess up just because this is going on. And sometimes I've slipped, and no one's really noticed, and I've noticed, you know, I'm my harshest critic. You know, but I just try to keep focus, man. You know, I, I, I'm doing it less now because, you know, I, I mean, after 20 or so years of, you know, doing it, you know, I, I, I mean, I put in my time, you know, I, I did the eight and a half foot bomb. I don't know if anybody's done that, you know, and cleared it. I don't know. So, um, but, it, but it's like that, man. It's like you got to keep focus, man. Well, no matter what it is, just keep your mind right under any circumstance and that's what keeps you in the game. This is Eric Bobo from the mighty Cypress Hill also representing Bobo Meets Redmatic aka Cypress Junkies you're checking out Break Beats and Rhymes Radio